Good morning, everybody. I just wanted to uh, send my condolences to the Gregory family. You guys should know by now that um, legendary activist, health nutritionist, um, icon, not just in the black community, but throughout the world, Mr. Dick Gregory passed away yesterday or last night. Um, so my condolences to his family and his close friends. I actually got the opportunity to see Dick Gregory live within the last like eight months. Um, and about three months ago, I actually had the opportunity to take a picture with him, me and my wife. And my wife at the time was pregnant with our daughter. She was eight months pregnant with our daughter. And so I'm, I'm going to share that picture on this video. Um, but I only started um, learning about Dick Gregory within the last like four years. And I wish I would have knew him, you know, when I was younger coming up, especially like in high school and my start of college and all that. Um, but it is what it is. And I, and I did have the opportunity to still learn a lot. He recommended, a few, he always recommended stuff in a lot of his lectures and videos. Those of you who know about Mr. Gregory. Um, a couple books that he recommended that I read that kind of opened my eyes to a lot of things was not e any of his books even though he does recommend that you get his books too. But the two books that I bought that he had recommended, the first one is um, The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. And, I mean, if y'all don't have that um, not that book, I definitely recommend you go get it and read it. It's just about um, just how doctors, and we know a lot of things, especially within the black community, are not right. You know how they treat us and how they, um, you know, just use us. But anyway... Long story short, man, hearing yet a lack, y'all look it up. Basically, they uh, took this woman's cells, and I mean they by saying the doctors, um, the hospitals took this woman's cells without her permission. And this is like in the 1950s or in the 60s or the late, the early 60s, the late 50s, somewhere right there. And the lady ended up passing away of uh, cervical cervical cancer. If I'm not mistaken, that's what it was. And but her cells have been used to treat a lot of diseases for today, and it's 2017. And um, her family never got compensated for any of the use of, of of the genetics or her cells. You know what I mean? It is a long story, but that's just one book that I highly recommend. Another one is, which I would probably even recommend more than the Henrietta Lacks book. And there's a movie about Henrietta Lacks too. Um, Oprah is is definitely a star in that movie. But anyway, the, another book that Mr. Gregory recommended was um, "An Act of State" by William F. Pepper, who was actually the attorney about the Martin Luther King assassination. And uh, an act of an act of state, and that's just that book, man. Because I was trying to find out information. I had already been thinking, like, you know, the Martin Luther King situation was crazy. You think about the J.F. Kennedy situation is crazy. It is a lot of stuff, man, that that uh, that I'm going to call him King Gregory. King Gregory, um, like, had great information about, man. And just, like, some stuff is just right in our face, and we just bother to, and, and we never really look at it. But anyway, um, I recommend those books to you guys, too. I'm logging off, man. I just once again wanted to send my condolences to the Gregory family and to anybody out there watching this, man. Uh, we know how important he was. But he lived a long, beautiful life, all in all, man, through the struggles and, and, of the civil rights movement and all that. One of the few men who actually walked with Dr. King, you know what I mean? And, and who was friends with Malcolm X, you know what I mean? And, like, it's just, like, a lot of history right there when you're talking about that man. Uh, he's one of the few people he was 84 years old when he passed away he's one of the few people that was an activist in the black community who didn't get assassinated like and there were there there were threats on his life and i mean you can find all kind of videos about him he's talking about it but just before i get off of here man i remember um him sharing one story like he had got a copy of the paper that saying i think it was the um, chicago tribune but i don't want to um misquote but i think i believe it was a chicago tribune where the paper had was was about to get run about um the 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 killing death of uh of uh Dick Gregory 
but he had got the paper like the day before or something like that, something ridiculous. And um, I guess he made moves how he made moves. But he was basically like telling everybody like these things are already planned. Like people set up stuff to, you know, kill us and, and um, set up elections and all these type of things to um, sway one way or, an or another. Is a lot of the stuff that happens to a government is not necessarily random. You know what I mean? It's planned. So um, it's a lot of knowledge, man. I don't want to. It's already been like five minutes. All right, y'all. Um, I just really going to uh, miss that dude. And y'all can f go find his videos. Go definitely check him out. Also, last thing I promise. Um, speaking about Martin Luther King, if y'all go watch one of Dick Gregory videos, he tells you or he shows you about one of the preachers who was with MLK that night he got assassinated and the preacher actually slips up and basically um confess that he knew the shot was about to come or something to that nature um so that was crazy and wild too man peace out